So from doing a conventional pass of fungicide to our undercover, we definitely saw yield gain. On our soybean lineup, we saw anywhere from two to three bushel from a conventional pass over the top to an undercover through the canopy. On our corn silage ground, we saw approximately a half a ton uh, as, a, as a base. But when we pulled our actual silage samples at the end of the day, our protein levels, and we also saw some additional gain starch. My name is Josh Kripaline. Uh, we're farming in East Central Wisconsin. The name of my business that I run is Fly By Acres Ag Services. We are a custom applicator. We primarily do uh, spraying, uh, but we also sell seed, micronutrients, uh, some fertilizer products, and also 360 products. So here up against the lake in East Central Wisconsin, uh, we primarily in the row crops primarily see uh, diseases such as northern cornleaf blight, uh, we see rust. We also see tar spot is a big one. On our alfalfa lineup, we primarily see a lot of aphids and leaf hoppers. We decided to choose 360 undercover uh, as a practice to try. Uh, number one, because we purchased the Y-Drop system. And with us having that investment there, doing the undercover at that point was a no-brainer. Uh, on corn, you know, everybody always talks about the couple leaves on t above the ear corn, um, but we also talk about we want it still on the upper half of the plant. You know, with a conventional practice, getting it on the top of the plant by the tass tassels is no problem. However, getting it down to the top ear leaves, and that was always a challenge. And with undercover, we can actually get down into that canopy you know, set our nozzle configuration where we want, adjust the height of our boom to get those undercovers right where we want it. You know, whether it's tall corn or short corn, we can hit that target. Our undercover experience is second to none. If I even had a 10 acre parcel to do, or even a 20 acre parcel to do, and I had to set up the undercover or just hurry up and go spray with the conventional sprayer, I would stick the time into setting up my sprayer with the undercover just because of the placement and making sure I give my crop a good day in the field.